guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be unboxing the cloth and paper august subscription box this is the financial subscription box and i am very excited for what all we have here okay so i'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what all we got Okay, so I have taken everything out of the packaging, and let's see what we have. Well, I forgot to open this. I have seen so many sneak peeks of this all over social media, and I am very excited about this box. Um, I'm a little surprised that they did this box um, in August. Just because normally when you think of a financial box, you think October. So, October October is normally the start of a new physical year, a fiscal year. And I figured that's when they would do a budgeting or financial box, but who knows okay so this is the what's inside card we have the modern bound notepad the snap dust bag financial organizer pop-up calendar pins label stickers um, inserts and the mindful monthly reflect reflection prompt card I really enjoy these I think these are cute and a neat little thing however I don't really know what to do with them after I've opened them. So this says mindful. What does it mean to you to be well prepared for the future? Like I said, super cute, but I always just put them in this little basket I have on the left side of my desk because I don't really know what to do with them. Um, so this is a pop-up calendar for October. I keep these and I keep them on my desk and I use um, little dot stickers to put on the dates and they work perfectly let's let's go ahead and get into the dashboard so the dashboard here art of living is neither careless drifting on one hand nor fearful clinging to the past on the other it consists in being sensitive to each moment and regarding it as utterly new and new unique and having the mind open and wholly receptive alan watts so it's um kind of a blurred picture cut into four different little sections um this is a textured insert um excuse me dashboard um here lately all of the dashboards have been textured and they're really nice this is really cute it is a lot of white space but i would imagine if you layer this well it would be really cute Okay, this is the financial planning inserts. Uh, I have half letter inserts because I use the um, Louis Vuitton desk agenda that holds the half letter inserts. Okay, so with this, you have a monthly, let me get a pen. Okay, so you have the monthly overview at the top, a section to write the date, section for total budget, actual, and difference. And then on the left-hand side, you have your spending section. Your right-hand side, you have a shopping list. And then right here in the corner, you have a little box for notes. Um, I like these, these are really neat, but I don't think that I would use the shopping list section um, because I know it's not like I'm going to take this insert with me to the grocery store. But I guess I'm thinking of groceries only. So maybe if on your shopping list, since this is August and this is the August box. Um, August is normally back to school. So maybe you have some back to school items that you need to purchase for yourself, your kiddos. Um, new shoes, new clothes, maybe a big ticket item. Uh, I know they recently released um, some new iPads. Maybe you need a laptop. Just anything like that. You could write that down here on this side of the shopping list. Spending. Um, I would love to use this for my personal categories that I have for spending. 
Um, okay, so it, since this is the monthly overview, it looks like we have just the top page. And then on the back, we have reoccurring payments. So this is income, amount, and due. Okay, I guess that's where you would put your date that you get paid, so all of your incomes. Um, your bills and subscriptions, so this is nice. This is all just reoccurring, guaranteed, you know what it's gonna be. On this, we have, how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these sheets. This is a weekly expense log. So you have your date section here, total budget, actual difference, and then this is categories that you can have and the description of what you need within the category budget and actual. So this would be really good for if you do have, um, you know, you need to buy new shoes, you need to buy new this, that, whatever. You can actually use that in a category. You could have an eating out category, a gas category, a miscellaneous sweet treat, if you will, category. Um, these are really nice. These are front and back, and you get seven of these or 14 sheets total. Okay, this is a, another monthly... Um, insert but this is a reflection so you can have um, your budget total spent total saved and what your ending account balance is that's nice then you have here your goals your spending habits your goals for next month and then you have a little section here in these boxes for a breakdown of how your spending went for the week it looks like the back is just a notes page and it looks like we just have several of these. Um, how many sheets did we get? Hmm. Okay, so you get a good amount of inserts with this. I would say one, at least two months worth of inserts for you to try these out and to see if these inserts meet your financial planning needs. I used to have a section in my planner just for finances. <clears throat> However, for myself, I have found that I enjoy um, not having my finances in my desk agenda that I use for, you know, my same thing for appointments and notes and everything else, that I enjoy having my financial inserts in a separate planner. Um, so maybe I can use these in that planner. Okay, so this is the Snap Closure Dust Bag. And this feels like PVC material. I've got a few scuffs, but it is PVC material. Okay, so my desk is brown. So this is how it looks up against a brown background. This is how it is with gray. Um, very interesting color. It's, um, I would say it's a brown, a brown color. I thought it was going to be more gray just seeing them in pictures online. But this is definitely um, kind of like a nudie brown. I hate that I keep saying the word brown, but I really don't have any other way to describe it. Uh, this is interesting because you can open it this way or you can open here on the sides. I'm not exactly sure what I would use this for, but it looks very large and very sturdy. It's kind of hard to... Um, really mess up a PVC material. Uh, these are very sturdy materials. Okay, let's go into the financial organizer. Like I said, I've seen these all over social media and I am impressed. The quality feels great. The stitching on mine is nice. Has a magnetic closure. Um, it's a little hard to close 
to line up correctly, I guess because I don't have anything in it. So as you see, it just kind of squishes in on itself. But it's got um, embossed here, cloth and paper. You have all of these sections. And I know these come with label stickers that you can use. But these actually have little um, slits. Let me see if I can use something. So you can actually slide a label in between these slits here. You see how that kind of looks? So if you didn't want to use a sticker, you could maybe cut out um, a little piece of uh, paper or notepad or something and just slide in there. Um, just, you know, until you know what sticker you want wear. But this is really nice. Uh, I plan on 100% using this for medical bills, to organize medical bills. Um, I don't know about you guys, but with an HSA account, for me, it's hard to remember, okay, did I pay this with my HSA card or did I pay this with my debit or credit card? So this will be extremely helpful in me keeping those items separate. Let's see what these stickers look like. It says it comes with two Oh, here we go. All right, so we got two sets. You have a blue gray and then you have clear. They both um, have the same wording and lettering on here, so that's nice. These are definitely good. Um, could really use these not only for your organizer, but really for anything that you just wanna slap a sticker on. Okay, this is what I am most excited for, guys. And this, I'll go ahead and tell you, this has some heft to it. This is solid. Let's get this open. Okay, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic in the hand. Okay, so cloth and paper is on this. You have all of these sheets. This is solid metal, guys, and it has little feet at the bottom that you can see there. So you put it on the desk, it kind of stays where it goes. Um, so you do have these screws here that you can unscrew. You take off this plate, and then here you go with the openings. Um, I'm gonna take a few of these inserts out real quick and I've been told that it will fit a half letter insert. So this is old half letter insert I had. Okay guys, so if you wanted to use, if you had any old um, half letter inserts that you wanted to repurpose with this, that is already pre-punched, you will not be able to just slide this in. As you can see, these are not lining up. So that is a bummer. I thought I would be able to use my extra um, graph inserts that I have to put in this, but it looks like that will not work. So I guess when, um, Hopefully, they have some of these specific inserts for sale on the website. I will definitely need to buy some more of these because um, I'm not sure unless you get some blank um, A5 or half letter inserts and punch them yourself, you will have to find something um, that cloth and paper has to fit in these. But that's fine, you know. They make a product and they're gonna sell a solution to put in the product and I'm 
I'm not upset about it at all. I'm definitely going to be using this. If I can get this little screw in. Okay, so here we have date, description, category, and amount. So what I plan on doing, let's get some pins here. I plan on saying, um, put the date down, description, let's just say groceries, um, category. I'm not sure if I'm going to, well, I guess I'll have to write up here what my categories are going to be and in the respective color. My plan is to color code. So I want to have one pen for cash, one pen for credit card, one pen for debit card. So that way I can see what I'm spending and where. I used to just write down what all I was spending, but I would never put what account it came out of. So that's really what I plan on doing with this and color coding. So let's just say groceries is debit. So I'd come here, maybe check that box for debit, and I would put 150. And let's say maybe um, the second thing I spent was gas. Let's say this would be um, a credit category. So check mark for credit, full tank of gas, 60 bucks. Um, so that's how I plan on using this. And I'm very excited to go ahead and start listing where my spending's going. I mean, this is a financial box after all. And I think that's what we're meant to be using these inserts for. Okay, so a set of two pens, black gel pen. I'm assuming that's what this is. This Pilot G605. This is chunky. And then this is a black fine liner. This is a Windsor and Newton fine liner, uh, 0 0.3. Let's go ahead and give this a test. Okay, guys, I hope you can see that. Let's zoom in a little here. Okay, so that is really nice. The fine liner feels good. And then this is the, what is this? Just the black gel pen. All right, so this feels like your typical gel pen. Feels great in the hand, very nice. But as you can tell um, in the writing, you can't really tell much of a difference thickness. But I will say these Sharpie pens are my absolute favorite pen. And these fine liner, and this fine liner almost has the exact same nib. Hopefully you can see that. You can see my Sharpie nib is even worn down a little bit. So I'll go ahead and give my Sharpie So obviously it's thicker. Um, this just says fine. It doesn't say what thickness. But this as far as the feel of how it writes I would definitely compare it to the Sharpie pen, whereas this Pilot G6, um, I would say it compares to almost any other clicky gel pen you could use. But guys, with that being said, this is this month's box. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And down in the comments below, let me know if you got this box, what you thought about it, and what is your favorite item in the box if you received it? And what's your favorite item in the box even if you didn't receive it? Go ahead and drop me that in the comments below. And all right, y'all. Have a good day.